was about caravan and camping from a mum's perspective. So I hope to let you know about the challenges that we've encountered on the road, um, all the awesome times, the pros, the cons, and everything. So I'm chatting to you today about uh, having sick kids while on the road. So we had a bit of a hairy few days with our three-year-old Billy. Uh, the poor little bugger got um, a little stomach bug and Justin and I were up all night with him trying to catch spew. So I thought it was great to chat to you about, um, you know, dealing with that while you're travelling. So no one likes having a sick kid at the best of times, let alone being on the road in a caravan with for other people. I must admit we have been pretty lucky with sickness and I put it down to the kids not being in you know school and daycare and they're not picking up those regular germs. Um, we do visit obviously lots of playgrounds and I, I put it down to them picking you know the germs up from there and, and bringing the bugs home and I guess um, having a sick child at home is no different to having a sick child on the road. Um, you know it messes with your day uh, you know, your kids can't go to school or daycare, which means you have to take the day off. You're trying to still run a household while dealing with vomit and poo, and it's just not an ideal situation. For some reason, my kids always seem to get sick on a weekend in remote areas. Um, Charlie got hand, foot and mouth, which if some of you don't know about that, it's a very, very common um, illness and she happened to get that on the Nullarbor. So we were doing massive days just to try and get her to Esperance because she had it really, really bad. She was so unwell. And um, we were just legging it to Esperance so I could get her to the hospital there. So again, that was super tough and um, I literally hated that experience. <laughs> It really sucks when they vomit all over their bed sheets and yours. Uh, this has, believe it or not, happened to us. Um, I always keep a spare fitted kid sheet for those situations, a couple of extra blankets, so I can sort of bag up the stuff. I chuck them in the back of the ute, and um, once I get to a caravan park or get on power, I can wash all the vomity stuff. It can be really hard getting into a doctor because you're not a new patient and um, because you are a first time patient, um, they tend to jack up the, the price a little bit. Um, so that is super annoying and I've had to do the ring around numerous times just to try and even get into a doctor that um, will take a new patient. Um, so what I have found is this awesome little website um, or phone call you can make actually. It's 1800 bulk bill and you can get on the website, um, type in your location and it will tell you uh, whereabouts in, in your area that there's a bulk billing doctor. Um, I've, I've found it really, really handy and um, then you're not paying, you know, 50, 60, up to $80 to get your child seen or yourself seen and then you can just go into a bulk billing doctor and, you know, get your antibiotics or whatever that you need. I hope you don't get sick kids on the road. It totally sucks. But with this last episode of sickness, thank God it didn't go through the rest of the family. So that was a huge bonus. But um, if you do get sick kids, you know, just cancel your plans, have a down day. You probably need it anyway. And um, keep healthy. See ya.